Buenos días, bienvenidos a un nuevo video de viajes. Nuestra conductor Luis. Y yo soy noruego. Chicos, estamos cerca. Lindo like me. <risa> ¿Qué te llamas? Marcelina. Marcelina. Ajá. Me llamo Martín. Ah, Martín. 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 Mucho gusto. It was fun for me. I don't usually dare to speak in Spanish, but in this vlog we do. Mi novia es bonita. Muy hermosa. Good morning everyone from Cusco in Peru. Buenos días. Buenos días. We are currently sitting here at Plaza de Armas. And there are people wanting to sell us stuff. Hello, good morning. But guys, today's travel vlog is all about learning a new language. So on this travel vlog, I partnered up with Amazing Talker, a really cool online learning platform where you can learn a new language. So as you guys know, I've been traveling through North, Central and South America for the last six months. It's been yes. six months. <laughs> almost <laughs> seven. Almost seven months. And I wanted since the beginning to pick up some more stuff in Spanish. Well, here is my chance. Amazing Talker has challenged me to speak as much Spanish as I can. So for the last month, I have been taking lessons on Amazing Talker with my tutor, Emmanuel. He's a really funny guy. He makes me laugh all the time. And it's been really great for me because with Amazing Talker, I can choose to learn where I want to learn when I have the time. And as a full-time YouTuber traveling around, it hasn't been easy, but I've been able to pick up a couple of Spanish sentences, mostly directional stuff, like where to go, where to eat, asking for where I am, when the train leaves, all this type of stuff. So in this vlog, I'll try to show you what I've learned. So come along for this travel vlog, and also make sure to check out the link in the description, which will give you $10 off your first lesson on Amazing Talker. Let's start this adventure. Buenos días, bienvenidos a un nuevo video de viajes. Uh, me llamo Martín. Hola, me llamo Patriz Averia. Uh -huh. Patriz es mi novia. Mm. Sí. Vamos. <laughs> so really what I've been focused on the last couple of uh, weeks is learning directional Spanish. I know un poco español, pero I am no master. So learning a little bit phrases about asking for direction has been very important to me. And what about you? What have you been picking up here in... Uh... Ah, my favorite. Okay. Me gusto comer todo el día. <laughs> or, me gusto tomar todo el día. <laughs> yeah, that's what Ovid's been learning. Really good, really good. Hey guys, today we are visiting the salt mines of Maras. Today we've gotten a special permission to enter a little bit more closely. Yes, all thanks to our tour guide, Paul. Yeah, all thanks to Paul. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Just follow me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Paul really takes good care of us here. So it's really nice that this is one of the advantages of being on a guided tour. But hey guys, I'm so excited to visit this place. Paul has been telling us so much about it. It's actually every pool you're gonna see here today is owned by a family in yes. the village. Yeah. Oh, this is one of two places in the world where they produce something called pink salt. You may have tasted it. It's really, really um, good and also really rare. Wow. Oh, wow. You're up close. I haven't been in a salt mine before. No. Those are salt being dried up. Really cool, huh? Mm -hmm. the, the salt comes in the water. water. If you feel it's warm, Warm the water? Oh yeah, the water is really yeah. warm. And this comes from an underground source. Yeah, if you want, you can test the flavor. So, Paul explained to us that the salt comes up from an underwater oasis. And how the pink salt is created is because it's a natural phenomenon. And it is salt hitting a hot spring. The hot spring, the water comes past for the salt mine. And then go out 
to all this area because this is iron. Yeah. The color is this iron. That is the reason that when we have salt plus iron, we have the pink salt. I love this part of the world. Yeah. Taste the salt right from the source. Oh wow. I mean, it's salty, of course it's salt, but it's not like fake. It's not so salty. Isn't it it's strong? Yeah, it's not strong, it's yeah. <laughs> you got it, girl? Yeah, so to even get out here, we have to balance <laughs> on top of the terraces here. Oh, this is an adventure. I can't describe how good this spot was for photos. Thank you, Paul. You're Thank welcome. You, Paul. <laughs> so hit up Paul if you guys want to get to those more secluded places. Okay, guys, so now we are going to go to a village. We're going to try to eat some very local food. I'm pretty excited for that. Me gusta comer. Let's go. Okay, guys, we are now exploring the finished product. This is a storage unit full of pink salt, and then they take the salt from there and put it in those bags and that's how they export it to Europe. Mm. The locals here gave us some corn. This is such a cool area too. Wow. So many salt. Yeah, so much salt. So next time you're eating pink salt in your uh, on your dining table, if it's from Peru, you know where it came from. And guys, nuestra conductor Luis. <laughs> yeah. So we have Paul and we have Lewis taking us around. And you know, it's uh, you need quite the team to be able to explore the way we're doing it. But I'm so grateful for them. All right. So, vamos. Vamos a la comer. <laughs> hey guys, on our way to the new town, we're checking out a local shop where they're selling products with salt made from the salt flats we just visited earlier. Chocolate oh. with salt. Oh yes, please. I would taste oh. that. Oh, okay. Mm. That was so good. That was so good. Muy rico. Free. Mm -hmm. 71. Okay. 70. Oh, I can't wait to eat this chocolate. At least we know how this salt was made. Yeah. We bought some gifts for our family. Um, what's nice is that we, we've seen that it's sustainable. The people from the village are the ones um, actually earning from it. And there are no preservatives. Yes. It's you know, clean. it's clean. Yeah. Woo! Salt from Cusco. Guys, now it's time to taste the Real Saldemaras chocolate. Woo! For me? Mm. Mm. Wow. Well, it's really good, man. I didn't know salty chocolate is good. Hey guys, <laughs> we have arrived at this very local village. People are here to greet us. Thank you, Paul. Oh, wow. Wow, we're greeted with wow. gifts, guys. Gracias, señora. Wow, the flowers of Cusco. Also for Paul, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is why I want to learn languages. Yeah, gracias. Me llamo Martín. 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 ¿Y tú? Noemi. Noemi. Naomi. Mucho gusto. See, I, I know some Spanish. <laughs> wow, man. This is something else, isn't it? Okay, uh, our turn. Our turn. Um, 
Me llamo Martín. Uh, me, hola, me llamo Patriz. Uh, tengo 30 años. Vivo en Filipinas. Sí. Mm. En yo soy noruego. Mm. Noruega. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mi nombre es Raúl. Hola Raúl. Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Flora. Hola Flora. Tengo 35 años, dos hijos, casa. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Rosalinda. Gracias. Da, da. Wow, man, language is such a beautiful thing. Everybody's presenting themselves. I actually understand them. It was fun for me. I don't usually dare to speak in Spanish, but in this vlog we do. Okay, so we're in... We are now going for lunch. Feeling in my bones. I can feel it in my bones. Yeah. The first hit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hands in the sky. I can feel the wind. Guys, we have been invited into their casa. So we're gonna comida now. Comid. Comi comer. Comer. Yeah. La comer. La comer. To make something right. Make up for what I lost. Hey, try it. Try some And then it's, it's not. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no. It's like a little kick, but not much. Muy rico. Mm. Muy rico. Muy rico. Mm. <laughs> yep. For our second dish, we're having crema de maíz or cream of corn. Let's go. It smells so good. Let's get the verdict. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Wow, that's I love Peruvian corn, so <laughs> I love this soup. This experience reminds me when me and Ave we went to a place called uh, Yaxuna in Mexico, and it was a very homey feeling like this. You know, you're invited into someone's home, uh, locals, and you get to try authentic food. Guys, this is in Quechua for pepper, pimienta, cachi for salt. Hola, buenos días. Aquí tenemos chaufa de quinoa y papitas a romero y pollo enrollado con vegetales. Oh, gracias. Para disfrute. Wow, Aquí lindo. Tiene. Qué lindo. Qué lindo. Lindo like me. Wow, <laughs> it's pretty. This presentation amazes wow. me. The use of flowers, yes. flower crown we got when we came in here. I've only gotten this in Hawaii. Aloha to my Hawaiian years. And it's just so amazing. So we have chicken, we have quinoa and potato. First the travel here. Mm. <laughs> I think this is the best meal I've had since I came to Peru. I'm not even lying, it's so authentic and it's so flavorful and it's not dry in any way. They've kind of used the ingredients perfect. Postre di sacha tomate. Dessert of a certain tomato that's found here. So everything we've been eating today, been they're harvesting everything here in the village. So that's why the flavors are so unique. I've never had tomato. It looks like an egg yolk. It looks like egg and I've never had tomato for, um, dessert. for dessert. No way. <laughs> mm -hmm. This tomato, how can it be so sweet? Mm. Mm. Dulce. Ah, sí, yeah. sí. Very. Y yeah. la planta que, que está creciendo ah. afuera. Under that tree. Yeah. You guys see the plant. <laughs> Very surprising dish. Very surprising. This is something that could be served in Central. In Lima. Guys, we're now going to get a walkthrough on how they produce the textile that you see the women wearing. So, using fruit and vegetables, they're able to color the alpaca wool in different colors, and that's how they create these magnificent local art artist pieces. And I've been to a couple of these now, but I think seeing it in this. Uh, the Sacred Valley is right down there, we're in the village. This is the most authentic one so far. Um, and I just want to stress to anyone watching this video that if you have the opportunity, please go to this tour. Hey, 
Check it out guys, I've now been dressed up in their local wear. So I have the hat and I have the vest, locally produced, locally made. This just adds to the experience. Uh -huh. The local women want Ava to stay. Si, mi novia es bonita. Muy hermosa. Ah, Munaicha. Munaicha. Munaicha Warmi. Wow, I'm now a Peruvian. Yeah, you're now becoming yeah. an authentic <laughs> Peruvian girl. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Perfecto. <laughs> One on each side. Yes. Colores. Este, el cualito saca de azul y. Perfecto. We've been having so much fun here with the locals today. They really took care of us and welcomed us with open arms. And now we're gonna walk back to the exit, the entrance of the town. And we're gonna end with some a little food photo shoot with me and Ave, because we are wearing the authentic clothing. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about my Peruvian dress? <laughs> This is what travel is all about, right here. This is such a good moment, man. Miss Mines! Adios! Adios! Bienvenidos a Miss Mines! Bye, guys! <laughs> so sad to leave them, we were having so much fun, you know? Wow. Alright. <laughs> Buenos dias! Good morning guys from Marvel Vlogs on tour. Today we are driving south of Cusco. This is the first time we're exploring any part south. We're going to a place there called Palcoyo. It's the second Rainbow Mountain. You probably heard about the Rainbow Mountain if you ever looked up Cusco. Very, very beautiful. Uh, this one is a little bit easier, it's only going to take one hour to hike. But we have a four hour drive to get there, so we need to get going. Gracias. Gracias. ¿Cómo te llamas? Ruth Betsabe. Ruth, Ruth Betsabe. Ruth Betsabe. Chao. Bienvenidos amigos. Bienvenidos a Palcoyo. This place is 4,400 meters above sea level. I think it's bigger than Norway's biggest mountain. So here, we're going to trek for one hour to get to the mountains of colors. Might take me more than an hour, but I'll let you know. Okay guys, we are now at the entrance and there's this local woman here. She has this very nice local attire and a very nice sombrero. I'll show it to you. Hola. Yeah. I like your hat. Me gusto. Sombrero. Yeah, sombrero. Hi. <laughs> you. Quanto tiempo? Quanto tiempo? Quanto tiempo? Caminata. <laughs> ¿Cuánto tiempo de caminata? Necesitamos una hora para caminar. Okay. Buenos días. Buenos días. <laughs> All right, it's going to take one hour for us to get there. Yeah. Hola. Hola. Uno hora. Okay. We met Anderson and his alpaca. Lisandro. Lisandro. And they live here on the Rainbow Mountain. Okay guys, we have reached the first lookout 
This is our first look at the Rainbow Mountain. Such an amazing view. <laughs> it's actually a little bit sad because the Rainbow Mountains are caused due to global warming and it's causing all the snow to melt. Our guide has been telling us that back in the day, every mountain that you see here was covered in snow. So with global warming, higher temperatures around the globe, what's underneath the snow is like minerals. And that's causing this rainbow mountain effect. So, kind of ironic that we are tourists of a place caused by global warming. The air here is very, very thin. And when the, when the sun is not out, it also gets a little bit cold. So, we gotta keep moving to stay warm. Chicos, estamos cerca. We are almost there. <laughs> See? What do you call it? Marcelina. Marcelina? Uh -huh. I've met Marcelina on top of the Rainbow Mountains. And what do you call it? Paulo. Paulo. Bernaquito. Bernaquito. <laughs> and that's the name of her two uh, alpaca or llama? Alpaca. Alpacas. Suri. This is like a Rastafari. Suri. Suri. Yeah. Suri alpaca and? Bacaya. Bacaya alpaca. So there's different kinds of alpacas. I'm still having a hard time with distinguishing the different races, but beautiful animals. <laughs> there she goes. Adios, senora. Adios. Adios. <laughs> See, it's so good to just know a little basic Spanish. You get to make people smile. So now I'm standing and looking at a mountain here that's over 6,000 meters tall. All right, guys, we are now trekking up to the rock forest. Whew. One day I will come back to do the Inca Trail. It's pretty challenging. It's really steep, but I mean, come on. How does this compare to anything? Muy bonito. Check it out. I might have discovered the best seat in the house. The very top. All the Rainbow Mountains right there. <laughs> We are making our descent back to the parking lot now. The top here was about 4,500 4, meters. Very impressive. Beautiful landscapes and just magnificent weather. I mean, somebody told me before I went to Peru that you shouldn't go during winter because the mountains are going to be closed. I still think there's a lot to see. So that's a little tip for you guys still nice to go you know for me this is gonna be my last vlog in the mountains of Peru we're gonna go back to Lima but people have been telling me there's so much to see here in South America you know in Argentina in Chile in the mountains of Brazil Colombia so it only motivates me more to learn Spanish uh, even better so that's why I'm really really happy that I found a collaborator for this video amazing talker and we now have a partnership where the goal is to make me better at Spanish. So that's pretty cool. Buenas noches. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely think that if you're coming to North, Central or South America, you should pick up some lessons. 
And like you now know, you get one tutor, one teacher, at Amazing Talker, one guy that you can connect with, or a girl. There are different tutors, you can choose one. So I'm pretty stoked on that, you know, that creates a better relationship and you have private one-to-one -one lessons. So that's why it's been easy for me to pick it up along the way. Amigos, yo estoy muy feliz. It's been an amazing journey and I just wanna thank every one of you for watching this vlog. If this is your first vlog you're watching of me, don't forget, there's tons of content now. <laughs> Both from Central America and South America here in Peru. It's been a pleasure to be here and I can't wait to see where my life will take me next. This is the beauty of a travel blogger, a travel vlogger. I don't have any home. <laughs> I just jump from Airbnb to hotel, to camping tent, to RV. You know, you never know what's gonna be tomorrow's home. It's an amazing lifestyle in. I'm really happy that I get to do this in my 20s.